Moby. I do have to say, Gino, that we've been getting complaints from some of our female guests that you've been pouring water on their shirts as they <laughs> enter into the building. Yes, and I, that's because um, their shirts, first of all, some of them are coming in in dry sweaters, and with you can't have that much static around equipment like this. <laughs> okay. Yep. okay, all right. So it's much safer to be wet around this <laughs> yeah, much that's equipment. That's why I heard you say out in the lobby, we got to wet down that wool. Yeah, it's Listen. like wet the wool, baby. Yeah, I got to wet that okay. wool. This is not a Jersey Shore situation. This is this is not the type don't, of show. Don't you is. ever fuck it. I will never go to the Jersey Shore. Oh, oh that's really? right. You're from Long I'm Island. Because I'm from the South Shore of Long Island, Nassau County. Don't right. you ever What do you have it? out there? Do you have a Jersey Shore type place? Yeah, we have a fucking beach. You mean? We're a fucking island, bro. I the whole no. South Shore. We got Jones Beach. We got Long Beach. We got Lido, Point Lookout, Ditch Which Plains, like the best. Robert Moses. How would the best anyone beach get there? Is Jones Beach Field Six. If you wanted to take the train to Jones Beach How Field Six, you, do it? you could jump on the Long Island Railroad at Penn Station, hit Jamaica, Rockville Center, Baldwin, Freeport, Merrick, Belmore, Wantaw, Seaford, Massapequa, Massapequa Park, Amityville, Copeg, Lindenhurst, and Babylon, baby. baby. Yes. But sir. you get off at Belmore and <laughs> the train down there. But that's how the rest of the train line sure goes. of yeah, course yeah. Yeah. yeah have you ever gone further than that did you ever uh, fall asleep and like wake up someplace that you were like just Whoa. in connecticut yes i fell asleep one time and i woke up and i was in the montauk lighthouse <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah did they inside, expect you to operate i was inside i was inside and I, the only way i found out i was inside lighthouse because i opened my eyes at the same time as the light passed oh, wow. me and i thought i was dead oh gosh yeah oh yeah don't and go so into I, that just light the, yeah just that bright light and then i was fucking remiss to find out i was alive you did, really were remiss <laughs> yeah. to find out i was upset when yeah. i found out you were I was upset dead. you wanted to be dead at that moment i was like well i'm dead it's easy i kind of like did got you feel it. a sense of relief really? yeah i was like well, how now? long before you realized you weren't dead it was six days six so, days so you where were you thought the lighthouse was some sort of heaven yeah and then i started to be like this feels like a very specific pattern and i hear <laughs> i hear things and i the weather's changing and i'm getting hungry yeah and i thought i would be dead so and, you you went into acceptance very quickly in the dabda oh you got what's the dabda the denial anger oh the seven stages trail? of grief. the seven, seven stages of seven, grief. i think yeah. it's Six, I, maybe. Yeah. I believe it's bargaining. Oh. Bargaining, that's right. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> well, you didn't even know Dabda. <laughs> So, I like, you don't know like that though. Dealing with grief. Oh, how, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm, I'm just be betrayed. I'm in, by that, this. I'm in the betrayal phase. Now. I turned my back on my own grief. <laughs> I've been betrayed. But you just went through them really quickly, got right to acceptance. Like, oh, oh yeah, okay, I, just, I'm dead. I just assumed I was dead. So I was like, it'd just be easier if I'm dead now. So that makes. Easy no. on whom? On, on yourself or on your on, family? For me, for sure. I no, was like, don't feel that way during the holidays. Well, once I wasn't dead, it I would have been very sad for us. Yes. Was it? Oh. Would it? It wasn't because we didn't I, know about any of this happening. Right, right. To be honest, I don't know when we would find out that it had happened because Gina was so infrequent here. He yeah, just, that's my that's my bad because I'm dealing with some medical issues back home. Really, what's oh, going no. on? Um, for I, yourself or for someone else? For myself, I have mm. uh, like uh, constant pink sock. Uh, you know, I no, I don't. What I do have, you mean? I like, have. There's a, some problem with your laundry. What? No, it's yeah, no, it's. I wish God help me if I could just have a problem, with, another problem with my laundry. Wait, what's your <laughs> hey, first what's problem? Your first problem with the laundry. I get the dryer and the washer confused all the time and I always oh. put my clothes in the dryer first and then it just heats up all the filth that's right. on it and, and stinks then, up my whole house and then okay. you're going to school sopping wet I'm going to school sopping wet hey but no static shock baby yeah <laughs> Got to wet that oh, wool. Keep the wool wet, baby. But well, what's the problem with your? Uh, oh, I have, uh, I have uh, pink sock. You pink said? sock. Yes, I have near constant pink sock, which I is don't a pro- know, I don't know. That's a prolapsed is. anus. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so due to some, you're saying what it looks like sticking pink, out of yeah, your. Yeah, I have a little tiny like, tail, and you have to keep it in sock. a bowl of cold water so that nothing happens to it. Okay. Because like it, anything does can it stick grow to it. like one of those little sponges? <laughs> yeah, uh, like, like shrinky dicks. <laughs> no, I guess those are the opposite. You got to put those in the oven. If it's not in, if it's not in water. And like lint gets on it. Then oh, you, then no. You're, yeah, then you don't we, want to get lint so on your pink sock. You're walking around your university sopping wet with a bowl of water and your prolapse anus next it's to like, you? Yes. It, first of all, it's a community college. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. driving my Jeep Wrangler sitting on top of a bowl of uh, <laughs> tepid water with my pink sock in it. And then I. Can kind you of, just <laughs> soak? <laughs> <laughs> Can you. <laughs> Yeah, can't you can't wow. you like just you soak, soak it before you? Can go? you soak something, your underwear, or something? That, uh, yeah, I've item tried. I've wear. tried everything, but it's impossible. You know, because it's like a burn. Now, in a way. is you it can't the like- kind? Is it the kind of thing like a tapeworm? Come, you lure a tapeworm out of your mouth. Yeah, or can you get a milk? tapeworm to like eat it back in? Like, can, is it your body going to suck it back in at some point? One of the best ways to get it back in, I've learned, is one gentle peg. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. One, one gentle peg. <laughs> Just to be pegged gently once. Okay. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah. Couldn't you? Or you can hold a vacuum to your mouth, like a high-powered vacuum. Okay. And yeah. Like a shop vac? <laughs> like a shop vac. If you put it, so you're saying you just have to get the right amount of pressure from your mouth yeah. to draw your prolapse anus back into yeah, your body. Yeah, it, it whirls it back up like so uh, you can't finishing just, a plate of pasta. You can't just finger that right back in. Oh, no, you can, but you should wear a glove, and it's got to be a big finger. Did you find <laughs> Like a foam finger? Like yeah, a that Cyrus? actually helps. If you can get a glove over a New York Giants foam <laughs> finger, it really gets it back in there. If it doesn't fit, you must yeah, quit. Yeah, exactly. Dane, Dane Cook would love this. You'd be like, how about five in the pink? <laughs> you guys know this guy, Dane I, Cook? Uh, you yeah. got to have him you on the said, show. I think you he said has been Dean on Cook. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dean and Cook I, is Dane Cook's brother. Wait, is he a dean at your university? Yes. <laughs> dean Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Cook, he came once when Dane was performing at Hofstra and then <laughs> stole all Dean of his material. NASA. Yeah, and then he started doing, you know, shocker he's, he's material. He's doing a concurrent Cook act yeah. in every city. That, that and he, he gives did. college orgasms. <laughs> But let oh. me say, I had to do this because when I married you, That's and don't right. start getting defensive, <laughs> I aged so rapidly I wanted to figure it out. Could I do a calendar that made up That's for right. it? So I have a special calendar for my magical aging. Yeah. Now, I what I try to tell her is, yes, you do look a lot older. Personally, I like it. <laughs> He's but very into old bitches. You, you are immortal now, so that's not bad. Right. It's you good. look almost exactly like his previous wife. And you know what they say. You know what's so interesting? But we don't, uh, we don't like to talk about my previous she wife. She passed. We don't care. When I she passed? She, she, passed? Well, she, she can't did, have passed. She did She's pass. immortal. Some of us care more than others. She but. passed the road sign on her way to hell. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Oh, my oh God. come on. Let me tell you something. Sue. Have you heard my new laugh? I guess I haven't unless you've done it already. Well, none of you said anything funny yet. This oh, yeah, no, so, this is not a funny show. This is so good. It's about well, Long Dumb Road. Where do you hear this? Where do you hear this? Can you do the commentary? I'm track. so proud of her. Ho! Oh, oh. Oh, right? I'm crying with laughter. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> you you literally are. Oh my yeah. gosh, I'm crying. Oh, well, uh, Mrs. When Claus, you, on the third hoe, a moth came out of your mouth. <laughs> you yeah, know oh, that, good. Right? That Finally, magical? I've been trying to get rid of that. Also, you see my tears are individual snowflakes, each unique, one different than the last. Do you have any special powers? Yep. Watch this. Whoa! <laughs> a full she candy gotcha. cane. <laughs> she got you. She a gotcha. full candy cane. I'm crazy about it. Good. We love each other. We love each other so. Much. We I love, love each I other love so this much. man. He's the most generous man I've ever met in my life. What attracted you, uh, you to him? Uh, what, every I'm year fucking he, Santa Every Claus. year he gives gifts to kids for nothing. Yeah. As I'm long a great as guy. All, all they do is be good. Can I ask a question, Santa? Do you have sure. do you have children from your first marriage? And how do they feel about you getting married? I can't so believe quick? you're going to bring this up. This is the kind of show. Well, did not publish this? Give you a list of topics. Yeah, we didn't want to not the greatest. <laughs> Wait, did you write a book? Discussion. Uh, no, your publishers. A, a publicist. publicist. Oh, I'm sorry. We're supposed to give you a list of topics we didn't want to discuss. That being one, but okay, oh. he can go ahead and get answers. He's a grown man. You have children? I well, I had children. Mm. Had. had yes. Oh wait, are they? Passed, it passed away? No, they're adults. No, oh. they have they have disowned me. <gasps> They've disowned, They've disowned you. you. Yeah, they, they're not happy with my new life, mm -hmm. even wow. though it's the same as it's been. I just have a new same as it ever a was. New he sings. Same as it ever was. <laughs> I, this is my beautiful wife. <laughs> and hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, are they upset that your 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 previous wife passed away? Is that they are upset that I remarried so quickly? How quick, how quick how was, quick, was it? My yeah. first wife was not quite dead, but the marriage was dead for years. The marriage had been dead for come years. Come on. So you you were like, can I be happy? Come on, can you have a little life? I can't have a little life. And how did you meet? We <laughs> had a. <laughs> <laughs> we met at a friend's house. Oh, uh, wow. Mutual friend? Or? Yeah, mutual friend. Who, I hate friend? him, though. But what, I, he's a friend. More of a friend of me, for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Whose house? Who, uh, anyone we know? Or? Yeah, you know him. You know him. Well, everyone knows him. Everyone he's does. He's the most famous reindeer of all. Oh. <laughs> Ray Ru Rudolph. Dancer? The red nose, yeah. Dancer? Oh. No, and oh. I will tell him you said that, though, because it's fucking hysterical. You will hate it. <laughs> don't, that. don't, please. That I, makes, I can't that help makes things hard for me. You didn't laugh at it. That makes things, no, don't. Oh, oh. I'm texting him. You that's fucking hysterical. I can't be mad with you. Oh, oh, oh. That's fucking hysterical. Sue, where do you know Rudolph from? <laughs> from, my, well, from my childhood, first of all. He yeah. landed on my roof, went clip clop all night fucking long. My that's dad right. went fucking ape shit, shot the shit out of his leg. No one even tells you yeah. he only has three. That was a weird year. We lost Rudolph for uh, for a good week and a half. We didn't know <laughs> really? where he was. So lost week and a half. Yeah, he, he didn't was get stuck back inside my chimney. He, he was, tried to get in to get revenge. Was, they're not Rudolph. supposed to go in there. I know. They are not last supposed week. to. His go antlers in. wouldn't even fit. It's yeah, more. <laughs> he's not smart. <laughs> of course, we hung out. For but you guys still hang the, out with the him. nose yes. is the brightest thing about him. I, I you didn't him. hear that from me. I hate him, but he's hysterical. But I, I hate him. But he's he's all right. He's not so bad. He sometimes does funny shit. What do you mean? Well, he's just funny shit. Like he's oh, funny. Oh, okay. Like a clown. Like Monopoly. 
Like he's clowning. Yeah. And then you like just Monopoly. saw you we just saw games. each other and love bloomed. The two of us? I was struck two. by her. Who do you right think we're away. talking about? <laughs> I was struck by her right away. She was eating a pizza. Oh well, yes. And I, I was whole, housing it. I lifted it up, she folded was it in half, going folded it in half again. The whole thing. Did not cut it into triangles. Bit the bit the triangle part, opened it up, put my face through. Yeah. Like one of those <laughs> those cats and bread <laughs> on Instagram. And yep. I wanted to be a meme because it was I was really struggling yeah. with my business. And I was trying to become a meme and get really mu- get really money. So I she wanted, to get, really she money? wanted to get really money. <laughs> Just in my bank account be really money. Yeah. Right there. The time is really empty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And memes are a good way to do that. And I'm not the gold digger, but I did find a great guy. Yeah, but you guys <laughs> uh, have right. no money. You're not selling anything. Not he just s- gives and, everything away. And it sounds away. like you're wait, taking wait, wait, wait. Santa into what a, a sidetrack. You've sidetracked him away from his main business. I'm sorry. I don't understand what the fuck. I don't understand hey, how you don't get. L- let me tell you something. Can we live? I'm thousands of years old. No one makes me do anything I don't want to do. Okay. okay. Cool. All right. There's like, no Santa like, curse. Like see oh, your, fucking Santa Claus. Like see your kids. He's not Why is him. He okay. Okay. Nobody makes you see your kids. Do you want to leave? You know what, Jason? You I leave? think you're going to get some coal Should up your go? fucking ass. <laughs> Should we go? Should we leave? No, guys, no, please stay. Don't, please don't let stay. them ruin this for us. We are up. here to promote our business. Okay. Carpet Rugs down there. Call one nine nine nine. Carpet Rugs down there. <laughs> Call one nine nine nine. Carpet Rugs. Oh, this is humiliating Santa. for you, Sam. Why is it? Santa, what? Don't. Also, you're, isn't you're... that like a twenty-five digit phone number? <laughs> and it, yeah, and it costs twenty-five we're, cents a minute. We're at the North Pole, idiot. <laughs> Call one oh, so you relocated. You call there a lot. The whole well, rug store has been we relocated. Can, we deliver to the North on Pole? Christmas Eve. Yeah, well, that's where we live. We, <laughs> you deliver on Christmas, Christmas Eve only. Christmas Eve only. Well, it's, when the, it's, when the, it's when we're out and about. You <laughs> that's free right. shipping. Free that's shipping. Right. Free right shipping. Right down shipping. your chimney. And if you don't have a chimney, rugs? come to your front door. We'll have for a tournament right. right. sign for Free it. shipping if for you rugs is wild. It's a very heavy item. We can do it. Well, Does it come in a very small box? A surprise? The size of a mini fridge. Lisa Max. I just noticed something. When we all woke up from this dream, there's someone new sitting here in the room. What? Who's this guy? What's up, dude? (laughs) It's me, Big Dog. How's it going? Hey, Big Big, Dog. Big Dog. Big Dog. We've never met before. No, dude. I just stumbled on in here with a steaming hot plate of nachos. Went to Crunch Town. Went to Crunch Town. Crunch Town? <laughs> crunch Town. I don't go to Crunch Town on nachos. I crunch them. Crunch yum, Town. Yum. Crunch I sounded like Crunch Town. Yeah, I did. They're no, looking I mean, pretty soggy. You've been having them for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep these nachos moist and wet. <laughs> oh, and then yeah. I crunch them. <laughs> like a good wool sweater. you got to keep it moist and wet. Keep oh. the wool wet, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. You guys are talking you my kind of too? sauce. Uh, big dog. Santa Claus, North Pole. I have hey, a question. <laughs> what's going on, dude? How, do you, how are you able to crunch the nachos? Nachos, if they're moist and wet. Your skilled nachos like I am, you crunch just about anything. I could crunch a moist towelet. I moist could... toilet? No. Towel. Towel. Hey, come on, towel. Gino. Come on, Gene. Some come on, people Gino. use, hey, I got Gino, that, that was, was uncalled for. <laughs> Gino, Gino, that was Gino, that's the one Gino thing you apologize. said. Gino, apologize. Gino, apologize to Big Dog. Gino, apologize to Big Dog. Big dog. dog. Apologize I'm, I like, big I'm dog. sorry, Big Dog. <laughs> hey, don't do okay. toilet Big human. Dog don't hold no grudges. I didn't know that about Big Dog. You should. It's written right on his shirt. Are you kidding me? No. I wasn't looking down there. I'm a gentleman. This T-shirt available in the shop. In the Earwolf store, Big oh, Dog. Big Dog, don't, don't hold no hey, red red to the That's cop, where I get all my Wolf brothers. Can I, uh-huh. get, can I get Kirk's, uh, Kurtz or whatever printed? Kurtz. Can I get Kurtz. a silk screen He's on dyslexic. the Kurtz? You sure can. You Absolutely. Sure. Nothing sticks to thick foam better than <laughs> screen <work>. print. <laughs> Well, buddy, I want to get a, a picture of a big old plate of nachos fully dressed with... Fully dressed? Fully not naked, dressed. Not naked nachos? No way, man. I want them all. What do you want? I want them sour cream. Mm. I want them saucer. And you know I want some guac. And you yeah. know I want some cheese. Wow. And you know I want a half gallon of blood. And I don't want that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did, and did you guys all hear that last part? That, that, that was the only thing on the top on the shirt. We can the that very like, last thing you said that, I thought was that unusual that like a, for nachos. Is that like a red sauce? Yeah, is that like a red Yeah, because I love, I mean, I love like, a round pie with a tomato base. <laughs> no, we all know that about you. Hold on, if you're in the mood for pepperoni, you could. Maybe some blood. <laughs> sure, maybe. Hold on, hold on. I like <laughs> milk. Some Sometimes with cookies on the side. Our new friend, round Big cookie. Dog. Big Dog. A round wolf. cookie. <laughs> Leave carrots for the reindeer. Our new Does friend the back of your sweatshirt say woof woof? You know it. Oh, my. Oh, it's spelled wrong. We have to ask you. There's a lot of things written on the shirt. Of course it is. W-U-F? I got got eat shit on my right arm. And who did that on my left? 
And these are all catchphrases? Yeah, yeah buddy, big dog. For a new character already, four to five catchphrases? Can you just throw those arms up when you're on your bicycle, depending on what the person behind you just did? Girl, you know it. <laughs> this, this is character is complicated as hell. This is dangerous, the amount that you're adding so quickly. Yeah, trust and, me, you can do not too much. I love nachos. I got a couple catchphrases. And no do you always deal. wear rollerblades with triple the wheels? What? <laughs> do you always wear rollerblades with triple the wheels? If, you if, right you're, now. if your blades don't got 12 wheels, you're not blading right. Tell you that much right now. So it's not too much, this Jack. character is overwhelming. I like nachos. Why are, you, catch why are you sprinkling jigsaw boat. puzzle pieces everywhere? And you've all fallen asleep. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. What yeah. Yeah. That's oh, why. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's why. You're that's here why. in a No, but he said we just fell asleep. You so just that was fell real. asleep. That was all real. No, wait, that was real? That was real? You big felt... Dog is real? Yeah, Big Dog big is Big Dog is actually the most in normal the dream, person we've he, had. In the dream, Big Dog is, I will say, a large dog. And Big Dog had four <laughs> ponytails braided into each intricate little braid. You, you all know look, it. You all look different in the dream world than you do in real life. Wow. Your, your oh. emotional truth is now apparent. Big Dog is a big dog. <laughs> Yeah. But I brought you here to a special part of the dreaming. It is oh, the God. cave of catchphrases. <laughs> oh, oh, baby, so wow. you're telling me, can I pick up a couple more? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're just here for him. <laughs> Whatever all you'd right. like, pluck Why them off the stalagmites and the stalactites of the cave of catchphrases. Yeah, which Scott, ones do you see? Anything Scott, striking you have, your fancy? Well, do you have any room in your inventory for one more catchphrase while so. you're here? You got anything uh, well, catching your eye? I like, uh, what's this one? Make America Great Again. That's <laughs> all. No, no. Sounds bad. No, uh, it's totally you rad. It's coming from a good place. <laughs> you gotta reclaim it. Before you all wake up, I wanted to give you a little present. Here is the plate of the most perfect nachos you could ever imagine. Oh. The oh. nachos of your dreams. Look the nachos that. that could not Careful. exist in reality. Oh. Careful. If you bite into those, sometimes they're ironic. <laughs> bite it. Ironic nachos? I mean, crunch. Ironic nachos. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> do it sound a little very bad. A little. I'm a, <laughs> or sound guard. They were ironic. <laughs> ironic <laughs> nachos. <laughs> Got it. I'm gonna want to climb inside. These nachos are so dang Look, big. He's and climbing juicy. into the He's hole. actually oh climbing inside. Oh, he's he's swimming oh, around oh, in them. Yeah. his feet in those giant olives. Oh. His nachos are dripping with blood. <laughs> big dogs in is a little dog in the nachos. <laughs> his lipstick's out. <laughs> oh, okay, right. I'm about to fuck this giant blood of nachos. <laughs> All right, everyone wake up. Everyone wake up. Oh. 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 He's still it. fucking the nachos. <laughs> yeah. But he's a human. Oh, Did I do that? <laughs>